Number 14, that the craft, fraud, or disguise be employed. Craft, fraud, disguise. So, sa maning craft is a circumstance characterized by trickery or cunning resorted to by the accused to carry out his design. It is the use of intellectual trickery and cunning on the part of the accused. Fraud. Insidious words or machinations used to induce the victim to act in a manner which would enable the offender to carry out his design. This guys, it involves the deliberate effort of the accused to conceal his identity in the commission of the crime. Craft is also known as astucia. Going number 14, craft fraud or disguise be employed. Uh, actually, craft and fraud are identical. Manana sila similarity. There is an employment of tricks na ilad. The offender resorted to tricks to commit the crime. Ang only difference is the manner the trickery was committed. Kung ang trickery is more of scheme or action rather than the use of words, or intellectual trickery or action, it is more of craft. Whereas, fraud refers more to a trickery or the use of words by the offender. Insidious machinations by offender. So, kung imuha siyang gi ilad-ilad, pinaagi sa mga words, ang tawag daw na is fraud. Pero kung magic-magic gani, uh, craft na siya. O, kanang, kanang mukha ka, mamisita ka, manguyab ka ito sa bae. A fraud na siya kay gamitan mag mga words. Example, somebody rides a taxi, tells the driver to bring him to his place, and then, pag abot nila sa place, ang passengers now announces a hold up. Iyahang gikuhaan ang driver sa iyang income ana nga time, or buto na to, gipatay niya. The robbery there is definitely aggravated by the use of craft. Kung yung unsamay, unsamay trick nga na adid to ah. The offender is actually a robber, pretended, pretended to be a paying passenger. Iyang gilad ang driver, nga dalhon siya dito sa designated spot. Kung ang driver kabalo sa imuhang intensyon, dili man, dili na siya, dili kaniya pasak yun as passenger. Ganong, iyang mga ialaw, iyang kaugalingon nga matulis or mapatay. So, just for that distinction, craft and fraud are almost identical. There is the use of trick or scheme by the offender. Nay case people versus impasses. Ang strategy or stratagems, the stratagems and ruses, ang iyahang style niya that constitute craft and fraud are the following. Yun ano yung gibuhat. Where the accused pretended to be constabulary soldiers and by that ploy gained entry into the residence of their prey to rob them thereafter. So, nagbihi sundalo sila. Tapos, pag nakasulod na sila sa residence, ilaha da yung gitulis. They pretended to be needful of medical treatment and due to this, they were able to enter the house of the victim and there robbed and killed him. Kadtong nagpretend sila to be customers wanting to buy a bottle of wine. Kadtong nagpretend to be the co-passenger of a victim in a public utility vehicle. Kadtong nagpost as customer to buy cigarettes or as being thirsty, asking to drink a glass of water, etc. In all those instances, the crime was aggravated with craft and fraud. So, duha. Craft and fraud. So, identical lang na sila doon. This guys. When the offender tries to conceal his identity, itago niya iyang katauhan. 
the offender covered his face with a handkerchief in order to prevent his being identified. But despite that, the victim recognized him. Ingon ang korte, this guy is not aggravating because he was not successful. Actually, he was still recognized even if he disguised. May disguise pero nailhan mo nga po. So, di ma-appreciate ang disguise. So, next case is People versus Kabato. Ang akusado nag-disguise, pinaagi sa pagtabon sa yahang naong. Pero, ang yahang tabon sa yahang naong nahagbong or the cover of his face accidentally fell, fell down. Karo, nailhan siya. Ingon, ingon ang korte atong akaso nga aggravating daw. I-appreciate niya ang disguise. Kung sa may kalahian sa people versus kabato, sa people versus sonsona katong isa. In salsona case, katong first, wa walay nahagbong. Ang cover is still intact, but just the same, he was not successful tungod kay nailhan mang gapon siya, despite the cover. But sa second case, the disguise could have been successful, only that it fell down, nahagbong man. So meaning, kung wala lang nahagbong ang kadtong handkerchief sa iyang naong, the disguise would have been successful. So the Supreme Court considered the circumstance still as applicable. Number 15, aggravating. The advantage be taken of superior strength or means be employed to weaken the defense. Advantage of superior strength weakening the of defense. So this this generally applies to crimes against person. In order for the aggravating circumstance of superior strength to apply, there must be evidence that the offender is of superior strength than the other. So it cannot be presumed. It has to be clearly established and when they say superior strength, shall it mean to say you have to be more, you, you have more assets than that of the other? So may put pasawot ding superior strength. For example, kung ang duha or daghan pang mga tao nang commit sila o crime, superiority in number would definitely give the offender superior strength. Daghan mo, tapos tabangan niya itong isa. So, nagod mo yung superior strength. Or when one is armed with a weapon and the other is not armed with a weapon, and then superior strength is really apparent. Siya na iposil, ikaw wala. So, na siya ay superior strength, kaya na siya iposil. O, dili lang ka na. He clearly took advantage of it because if the crime is the product of anger or emotion, then we cannot say that deliberately took advantage. There is no showing that the offender really relied on superior strength. So, in cases of passion and opposition, product of anger or emotion. So, in summoning, that means be employed to weaken the defense. The other one is a little bit different. Maybe the parties are of equal strength. No one is superior to the other. But the accused saw it that the victim will be at a disadvantage. So if you are now in a disadvantage, in effect, my strength becomes superior. So na-apply ni siya sa mga cases nga ang akusado ng labay o buhangin nga to sa mata sa biktima. So ang imuhang mata, dagag buhangin, hindi kakakita. So, kinahanglan ni mo ipiyong imong mata. So, unsa ni mo pagdepensa sa imong kaugalingon. So, next case is where the offender iyahang giplanog insakto, gihubog niya iyang biktima. Kung ang biktima nga hubog na, di na makatindog, o mo nang time nga iyahang giatake, iyang gidunggap. So, mo nang, that means be employed to weaken the defense.